Whether it's to work, to the doctor's office, or just a night out on the town, trips keep ticking up for one local rideshare driver. Megan Schiller learned the recovery arrived sooner than at least one big company expected. It's new at 630. When the pandemic lockdowns began, the last thing anyone wanted to do was hop in the back of a stranger's car. Plus, there was nowhere to go. But in just the past few weeks, things are really switching back into gear. Another day behind the wheel. I'm Michael Moran, a rideshare driver from Forest Hills. And business keeps getting busier. It's been steady, uh, but it has, it has uh, really taken off in the past two or three weeks. He's noticed the difference, a changed attitude in the back seat. I don't know whether it is just everybody's ready to be done, so they're becoming a little more lax or they're feeling more confident because they have the vaccine. So we asked people, do you feel ready to pull out the app? Where I live, I have a car. And I like to bike a lot of places instead of taking an Uber or something. Every car that I've gotten in has a barrier in between the back seat and the front seat. And they provide you with masks, hand sanitizer, some of them do. Rideshare giant Lyft made headlines saying it had its best week for rides since the pandemic lockdowns began. In a filing with the SEC, it saw average daily rides jump 4% just from January. Uber CEO called February's numbers encouraging, but also said it's too early to tell. As for Moran, he'll keep cruising in his Kia Soul 30 hours a week. I think that people are just itching, you know, spring fever, let, let alone spring fever with the, the possibility of not having COVID uh, looming so largely in their lives. Reporting in Forest Hills, Megan Schiller, KDKA News.